Hello everyone, welcome to my gameplay of Disc Elysium. So this game I think released four years ago. I never got the time to play it over the last four years. I've uh, read some reviews of this game and some of them claim that this is probably one of the best PC games of all time. Some of them say that even if it's not the best, it's probably high up in the list of the best games. So today I wanted to see what this hype is all about. <clears throat> so before going into the game, let me look for resolution. Okay, I'd like it to be a very high resolution. Like this, confirm. Environment high is fine. How do I select the highest quality? So this is high. Dynamic shadows on, shadow quality brilliant. I think, yeah, that's it. So this is a game, it's, it, it, it's not a game that you sh show off your graphics card. I understand by looking at the pictures and some videos of this game. This is mostly a story based game. So what I'll do now, I'll go to the game. Archetype. Thinker, sensitive, physical, create your own. I'll probably start with the um, preset. Oh, there is no way to change the difficulty of the game. I would have liked that. Playing with easy so that I can enjoy the view. Right, so extremely intelligent thinker, very bad with people. Knows facts, comes up with original ideas. Encyclopedia. Sensitive. Very psychological, magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. Oh, I would not like that. Physical. Extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body. Gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Hand eye coordination. Ah. I mean, all of these archetypes have at least one very bad thing. Physical is dumb as a rock. Sensitive is may lose his mind. And thinker is bad with people. What does go with me? I'm not very sensitive. I'm not very physical. I think I'm a thinker. At least I like to think that I'm a thinker. But I'm bad with people. Right. I know interesting facts. So I, I think this archetype goes with my personality somewhat at least. So so I'm going to pick this. Here's our home in the mirror, it is the redress in the clear of water deep enough can drown. There is nothing. Only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. That's my reptilian part of the brain, the hind, hind brain, I guess. Ever. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever, baby. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce. It's bloated and shameful. A ball of that meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. That would be me. Awareness of me. Ex-love. Ex-tenderness. 
It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the Abyss of Pelagic Zone. Abyss of Pelagic? What does it mean? Is that even the word? That sounds like a myth. Hello, see? Never let me go. No, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light. I'm warning things from people who don't want to give them to me. I think I should pick this now. Do you really? Don't be naive, of course, but I want to sell that. I don't let me off. You wouldn't like it if I up. told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Why or did, did you mean? not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself, got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? I think this is the first scene where, where a character is sleeping in a hotel. I don't, don't exactly remember, but yeah, let me see. Wait, did I did this with myself. Tell me what's waiting for me. I don't care. I'm an idiot. I'm a brave idiot. Yes. Your one disco mother. There's this giant ball there. An evil apes. Uh, and the evil apes people. are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. Yeah. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. You can't Pinball. even make out it's a ball when you're joking it out. It's that large. Infinitesimally small. Fine for it resources. Right. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Oh. Sad. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. You lost. Lost? I don't like the sound of the sound of the crowd. What does it say about it? The sound of that song. You recognize it. It's a Caprice Canadian motor carriage. of hangover in my life so yeah looks like he's pretty he's in pretty bad shape okay. where's the shirt there it is what else can I do gold tap for highlight okay the water running. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Was this not the same Elo that founds empires and lays waste to cities, virile, uncaring towards the little things? Probably not. No. Hot water sprays from the faucet's base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Hi. Just a vague impression of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. This is 
game called Disco Elysium. But you're not in this game. This is a grown-up game. No. Then you raise you have no memory of the face that you wears. Really nothing? What the mirror? As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Behold. Hmm. Is that me? Yeah. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Please promise yourself you are not going to try it on any of the ladies. Whatever happens. That's right. Not even yourself. Go ahead, try something. It's not an order. Oh. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. Okay, so this is either a parallel timeline or future timeline things were good it was smooth sailing people made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times calling this the new style but more importantly disco happened disco happened what do you mean disco happened for revershaw your city that meant only one thing guillaume la million I don't know what that means, but at least now I know that I'm living either in a parallel timeline or in the distant future in a city called Revachal, where there is free market economy and some kind of revolution failed. I, I'm, I'm thinking kind of like socialist revolution failed. And Guillermo Le Million. For the people, Guillermo something? For the masses? If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music, in an open air, Boite de Nuit, somewhere in Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. I like the picture of Encyclopedia. There is a man's face, a book, and the brain on top of that. Interesting. And the book looks like eyebrows. Interesting. Mm, uh, so I adopted that expression. Need to add a clicking sound when I make it. Click, click. How long was ago the new? Anything else? Uh, how long ago was the new? Some 20 odd years. There is a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression. Looking good on you. Or anyone. Humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. So I adopted Everyone it. loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. You have some understanding of the near history of Disco. The rest is darkness. Aside from the useless fact that the motor carriage outside was a Caprice Kanema. The click is used to spur on a horse. 
It also features heavily in Guillaume Lemillion's regional mega hit, Don't Worry, Your Pretty Little Head. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. Bottles, wine, go and sweet liquids. What is that? Check out. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Your eyes burn with photosensitivity. It's not good. The blades come squeaking to a halt. Lost my health point. That's not good. stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Okay, so that's what it means. Like, I'm a thinker, so I had higher probability to do, get it right. Okay. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand but none of it is recent. More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. A cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. So day one, eight, nine, ten in the morning, what's this? So I finished this overnight, listened to his songs, uh, destroyed the tape, Broke the window with my shoes and then passed out. Okay, so, can't I open this? How do I open this? Where the do I. Do I have keys on me? Keys. You've got no keys. What is this? Find your other shoe. What is this? Oh. oh, okay. Mm. 
happening. Whatever happened to Gilliam Lemillion, who, with his amber mane and sparkling teeth, beguiled the tattered remains of the nation? While he suffered and suffered, did he dematerialize in a cloud of cocaine dust, or did he simply stand in the corner and melt into the slendering new lines of some starlit boy to noon twenty years ago? Spare a thought for his great as to or wait, maybe he became a police officer in the river shop. Okay. Am I something bigger than it seems? Where do I find the key? Where is the key? Hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. it sh the whirling in rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. Okay, so that's where I'm staying. I need to go and find my other pick of shoe. Now do I get to the balcony? a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Now? Because you're a police officer, sir. I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. All this time? For how long? You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Could it be because of the drinking? Okay. 
So I'm kind of like suffering from an acute confusion after waking up. She hasn't had time to put her makeup on. This is her morning cigarette. She looks tired. Her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. It's like you've said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Yes? You're in a hostel, sir. We are in Revachol. Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. A capital, so Half a century kind of after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Right. You sure look like you're from Ravishol. Ravishol parties. Her accent suggests she is not from around here. She's from Aranye, another part of the world. It's 51. The current century? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. That doesn't make any sense. So how long has the current civilization existed in real time, in the real timeline? Four or five thousand? If we start from Mesopotamia. Maybe five thousand years. Okay. So this is three thousand years in the future, probably. Right. You're right. There is nothing funny about civilization. There was the usual ruckus, loud disco music. I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about oh, oh, the better. Oh. Oh, oh, we're huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now, it was difficult to tell. The song itself was very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a winded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. Then you started screaming and trashed the place. No, it didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded like someone was trashing their room. Okay. A window was smashed. A tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. There was. I think you screamed that you 
didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then, around four or five. And that was it. The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Glad to have been of assistance. is over there. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. She just, you know. His eyes dart from left to right. This man isn't lying, but he is hiding something. So now you're a cop. Oh, forget it. The man plucks at the seabird. Frowning. Hello, sweetie. Victor's wife. 
You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You, as you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he is waiting for your name. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? What scene? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Right. And the interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Have I? Don't remember. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. A coroner? So a murder case? Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Does that mean the body is no longer in the tree? Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? Mm hmm So, the body is still in the tree. Past three days, you mean? Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Talk to the manager, then we go out back and take the body down. We all feel that way sometimes. There is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. And then, soon after, dead bodies would be dangling from all the trees. But first, we have to take it down. I was sent here to meet a detective from Prison 41. Mm. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. Okay. How can I be sure that the jacket is mine? I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Inspectorate General means internal affairs. What he's saying is he's not from the rat squad and isn't supposed to suspect such things. Yes, but I'm not them. I'm from criminal investigation. Yes. They're not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Revachol West. French. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage, but again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. You mean you don't have a badge? 
Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I would advise you to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. After you, officer. Can I play as him as well? Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Report your badge missing to the cafeteria manager. So I'll go first. Inspect the body. RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? We don't see a lot of police around here, that's all. So this area operates outside of the law. That's the matter, I believe. Of mm. course. What can I help you with? Me? I am just a gardener. She hides it well. But behind the sweat and dirt, there is something else in her rigid posture. Is there? The quickness of the reply certainly does not prove you wrong. I am pleased to meet you too, officer. Excuse me? Oh, well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. I don't know anything about that either. As I said, I didn't write it. Pig is a widely used term for members of the police. It's not loving. We are not loved here. No need to worry. We are not saying you did. Okay. Well, I didn't. Since the street signs messed up? Okay. What do you need? What do you mean? Yes, sir. District of Martinez. This intersection is called Roundabout North. He knows where we are. He just wants directions. Oh, that. That's right there in the yard. Even all the way over here, there's a drop of death in the spring air. 